Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra and you are watching Harsh Agarwal. Well, in this video, I'll be talking about MetaMask Wallet and this is going to be a few video series where you'll be learning everything about MetaMask. Now, many of you may not be aware of MetaMask because we have not covered this in depth, but this video is going to change that. And But before that, I really want to thank all of you who have subscribed to our YouTube channel. We, we have grown to 8.3 thousand subscribers. And we're looking to reach 10,000 subscribers soon. Now, getting back to the topic is MetaMask wallet. Now, MetaMask is your gateway to DeFi. It's a Ethereum wallet, but you can also use it with other, other chain like Binance Smart Chain and few other chain as well. And I'll be showing you how you can use that with Binance Smart Chain in the upcoming video. So if you don't want to miss that, do like and subscribe to my channel. Apart from that, you can also connect MetaMask using your hardware wallet. So basically, you will be using the security of your hardware wallet to interact with you know any ethereum or binance smart chain and that actually makes it very secure and how to do that i'll show you in the next video but in this video let's just learn how to set up metamask wallet what it is and how to start how you can start using it so metamask is basically a browser extension which is available for all popular browser including chrome firefox brave and edge and once you install it you need to set up the seed word uh, it will show you the seed word that you need to copy. So I will show you how to do that. And for this video tutorial, I'm installing this on a Brave browser. In case if you don't know about Brave, Brave is a very popular uh, fork of Chrome extension. And they have a lot of privacy feature, which is very popular among cryptocurrency users. You can use Brave browser on your desktop, on your mobile. And I think it's an amazing browser that you should check out. If you have not tried it, you can find the link in the description for MetaMask for Brave and everything that I'm sharing, you can find all the links in the description. So do not worry about that. So without further delay, let's go ahead and let's learn about MetaMask wallet. So the very first thing you need to, you want to do is go to metamask.io. Now make sure that you are going to metamask.io and not any other website because there are a lot of websites which represent MetaMask, but they are not original MetaMask. So once you're on MetaMask, click on download now, which will take you to this page and then click on install MetaMask for Chrome or Brave or Firefox, whichever browser you are in. You can use this tutorial on any browser, which is completely okay. So let's go to Brave installation. Now, one thing which you should know about Brave browser is that you can install Chrome extension on Brave browser, which is pretty amazing. So if you are a power user of Chrome browser, you would not miss anything when you when you shift to Brave. The advantage is of the Brave browser is that, you know, it will stop all the trackers and ads automatically, which will save a lot of time. Plus it also has another feature where you can earn Brave token for free. Well, more on Brave Browser in upcoming video, but let's just stay stick around with MetaMask. So let's click on Add to Brave. Click on Add Extension. All right, so Brave MetaMask is installed. Now we need to set up the MetaMask wallet. So let's click on Get Started. Now you have two options. You can import any ex your existing wallet if you're already using any uh, Ethereum-based uh, wallet like Trust Wallet or any, any other wallet you can import using your seed phrase or you can set up as a new wallet. So for this tutorial, I'm setting it up as a new wallet. Okay, so I don't want to you know participate. So click on no thanks. Now this password is important because apart from the seed word, this is the password which you would be using to access MetaMask. So let me quickly add a password. All right, let's click on create. And this is where the uh, secret word would be revealed. This secret word is your password. So if you if your system is formatted, you lose access to your system or anything, the seed word is what you need to restore your wallet. A good idea is to take a note of this seed word on a piece of paper, keep it safe. And that's how you would be able to access your wallet. So let's click here to reveal secret words and make a copy. But I can also do this later on. So I'll do this later on. But for you, you should make a note of this on a piece of paper, keep it safe. And then cl let's click on remind me later. So MetaMask has recently added token swapping feature. So you can basically swap your token directly from MetaMask browser using any decentralized exchange, which is pretty amazing. So which we are not going to use. Anyways, so this is what the MetaMask interface is like. You can always click on uh, extension and MetaMask, this icon. This is your wallet address. You can click on this to copy uh, copy your wallet address. You can click on this hamburger menu and click on view on Etherscan 
So it would show you all, uh, you know, everything about your uh, wallet. Like if you have received any token, including Ethereum or any ERC20 token. Once that's done, uh, you can always, uh, so the very first thing you would be doing is you, you will be adding Ethereum uh, ETH to your MetaMask wallet because that is something which will be used as gas fee also. So even a 0.1 Ethereum is good and then you can start adding all other token if you want to add. Or you can simply add as many Ethereum as you want. You can use swap feature and uh, convert that into any ERC20 token which is pretty amazing, completely decentralized and you don't need to do any KYC as well. Uh, and you can click on advanced uh, option and then click on swap anyways so this is how the metamask wallet works now what happens is let's say i go to uniswap let me show you how it works so this is uniswap uh click on use uniswap and it so any decentralized exchange or any such uh, website which use d app a uh, decentralized application will ask you to connect to wallet you click on connect to a wallet you would select MetaMask. Another very popular way is Wallet Connect, which I would be covering in the upcoming video. So let's select MetaMask. And this is the MetaMask will ask you for permission to connect. You click on next and click on connect. That's it. Your MetaMask wallet is connected to this particular decentralized exchange dApp. And if you have any balance, it would show up here and then you can start using swap, swap feature or any other feature. So MetaMask wallet is your gateway to the dApp and this is something that a lot of people are using it. It's one of the most popular uh, Chrome wallet out there. Uh, now while we are at it, let's look at the other feature of this wallet. So we can click on account details, uh, click on the icon and then click on settings. Here you can set up few options like, you know, which is your primary currency. You can click on advanced. You can also sync with mobile. They have a, I think, watch only mobile app. You can download the mobile app from the uh, app store and then you can click on sync with mobile to sync your browser, uh, sync your uh, MetaMask on browser with your mobile app. But the most important thing is security and privacy. So remember in the earlier stage, I did not uh, reveal my seed phrase just for, because of this tutorial, but here I can reveal my seed phrase. I need to enter the password and then I can make a copy of my seed phrase. So that's one very important thing. Now networks is what enables you to access another network. Like in this case, we are connected with Ethereum net mainnet, but if we want to access Binance Smart Chain using MetaMask, we can do that. And how to do that, I would show you in the upcoming uh, tutorial. So if you don't want to miss that, do subscribe to my channel. And pretty much that's it. That's all about uh, MetaMask wallet. Uh, one last thing, you can also connect your hardware wallet with your MetaMask, which actually makes your life easier because then you're using the security of your hardware wallet to allow any transaction. And this is something which I highly recommend. If you don't have any hardware wallet, go, go ahead and order Ledger or Trezor wallet. There is a tutorial on CoinSutra about best hardware wallet, which is uh, using having a hardware wallet will save your life uh, significantly especially because you are setting up this wallet on a browser and the probability of your system being hacked or you're using any app which monitors your activity could be really high and which is the safety a hardware wallet gives you because the private key or the seed word stays in the hardware wallet and nobody can access your uh, coin or your as crypto assets without your permission so how to connect a hardware wallet i would show you in the next video but i hope this video has given you a brief of how to access metamask wallet how to start using metamask wallet if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section below and if you like this video do like and share it with your friends it would help help them to get started with uh, metamask wallet with that i will see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh